Okay, folks, just want to talk a little bit about Keith Giffen, who passed away uh, this week. Uh, Keith Giffen died at the age of 70, and uh, he was famous most for, I think, his work on Legion of Superheroes. He created the character Ambush Bug. Uh, he was also famous for uh, his Justice League work with Kevin, Kevin McGuire. That was uh, the, the post-Legends, post-Crisis uh, Justice League. And... Um, my gosh, there's so much stuff that he did. He was the uh, creator of the latest Blue Beetle, who just graced the uh, silver screen. And um, I can't sing the guy's praises lo long enough, because what he really contributed in my mind, and this was largely for his work on Legion of Superheroes, in which he established the nine-panel grid as the mode of storytelling. Basically, if you look at a comic book page and you divide it up into, you know, nine equal sections, Keith Giffen was able to draw a story through those nine panels where you could just add in so much text to it that you could read one of those comics for like an hour, I would think. There was so much value back in the day to a lot of the comics that we, that we just have, don't have today. If you encountered my Ripaverse critique videos, you will see how I basically said, look, you, you shouldn't have 22 pages where there or 22 panels where there's no text whatsoever to, to guide the reader along or to give the reader value. Um, Keith Giffen was an absolute master of both drawing complicated scenes and yet scenes that you really never had that hard of a time reading, uh, while at the same time allowing for all of the dialogue fill that was necessary to get the story through. I don't, I don't know if we're ever going to see that kind of style again, and that makes me sad because I, I think there was a lot to be gained from that very, very dense, compact type storytelling that could just go on for pages and pages. And, of course, there was Keith Giffen's sense of humor, which uh, permeated the Justice League. And, um, and he also had some weird-ass characters, like one was Ambush Bug. In fact, I actually have a signed copy of Ambush Bug, nothing special, and that comic is just comedy gold. Um, with all the running jokes that are through it, um, I... I, I, I when I saw him, it was at the 2007 New York City Comic Con that was uh, held in the Jacob Javits Center. I mean, besides Stan Lee, I think he was probably the person whom I enjoyed interacting with the most, or at least getting to watch the most. Uh, his, his acerbic sense of humor was definitely on display. There was, uh, there was a moment when he was asked about uh, the new character that he had created, uh, Jaime Reyes, who is the new Blue Beetle, and was asked, you know, what what do you think about the impact on readers of the new initiatives for diversity and inclusion? And he famously said <laughs> to uproarious laughter, well, it don't make the white folk too happy, <laughs> which is which is kind of a terrible answer. I think I think Dan DiDio was just like, oh dear God, when he was because Dan DiDio was the one running that meeting. But uh, but I did get to tell Keith Giffen at that time that uh, I loved the nine panel grid. At which point he said, uh, oh, so you're the guy. <laughs> which I found. That's an expression meaning, you know, I don't think very many people actually like that. So you're, you're like the only one. Uh, I've only heard him uh, somebody say that one, one other time, and it was him in uh, a video with, uh, where Ethan Van Skyver was inter interviewing him. He was being complimented on something like, oh, you're the one. And then uh, I also got to hand him one of his own running jokes when I handed him a phone and said, here, it's your very own call from Al, and you're stuck. And I think that was a reference to uh, Inker Al Milgram and how he would just keep people on the phone indefinitely. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to miss um, Keith Giffen for what it's worth. Uh, I didn't really read too much of his stuff later on, but I was always eager to try it. Um, 
I can't say that I ever really tried Blue Beetle because that character just never interested me. I mean, he was such a disconnect from uh, Ted Cord that I couldn't find, you know, any kind of line of interest. But two characters or two series that I think he wrote with uh, Dan DiDio, at least the first one, uh, OMAC, which was a continuation of some themes out of the uh, Inf Infinite Crisis series, um, but more combining it more with the Kirby-esque things. Uh, Keith Giffen had uh, he applied his art trade in that, and it was refreshing to see. There was also the series uh, Infinity Man and the Forever People, which I, I gave it the good college try, but I can't say that that series was really worth its salt. Um, but yeah, Keith Giffen, for his work on Legion of Superheroes and Justice League and the, the Bwahaha era that introduced us to the uh, Booster Gold and Blue Beetle pair, and, uh, of course, he also created Lobo in the Omega Men title and, um, and gave, us, uh, gave us some of Lobo's first adventures. I mean, there's, there's probably a whole bunch of stuff that I'm, I'm completely overlooking, but I will always remember him as a master storyteller on account of how he was able to just fill panel after panel after panel with the information you needed to get the story across and and also to carry the dialogue along from scene to scene to scene. Um, I can't always say that I was on board with a sense of humor on account of uh, that there's one six-issue series he did called The Heckler, and I don't even know what the hell he was thinking with that. Uh, there, was another, um, there was another series they did for Claim that I think was called Punks, and I don't even know what became of that. His... his his creative style was just so far out on the edge that I think it, I think he really shined more when there were other people or at least the more generic concert concepts to kind of rein him in where he wasn't just, you know, going out and exploring his own creative venues. I think he worked better within the system, but uh, I know that, when I was first getting into comics and thinking about how I how I wanted pages plotted, how I wanted to show scenes on the page, that nine panel grid is something that has never escaped me. And today, whenever I deliver a script, I, I always reference the nine panel grid and, and a 16 panel grid to try and get across the ideas that you can break comic book pages up into these recognizable units and then use those to carry your story across as needed. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever see his like again. It was, uh, it, was, it was really an awesome time getting to read his work. And so that's basically all I wanted to say is I, I had a great appreciation for Keith Giffen. I'm sorry I never got the chance to, to sit down in a long conversation with him. Um, and uh, I hope that I hope that today's creators learn to appreciate everything that he brought to the table. And that's it for me. Um, I'm Mike Partika. Thank you for watching, and uh, please do subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you later.